Hello farmers and welcome back to the hills of Tuscany. Once again, I am plowing a field. This was the red beet field over by the vineyard and actually I want to get out just to come over here and check and oh yeah, we got the quote unquote red grapes even though they're more of a blue, violet kind of a color, uh, but they are ready. And of course the white grapes are ready as well. I don't think we'll get to them this episode. I'll probably save that for next episode. We got plenty of work to still do though, of course. Uh, job number one while well, plowing this field here. The sunflower field is ready for harvest. We're going to go ahead and get that done because I got to get that transported down to the oil mill. So, of course, we can make oil and then that can be shipped up to the potato chip factory to keep on making those potato chips. That is very important. And let's see, we probably should sell some products today, seeing that the money is uh, dwindling down. We just got a little bit over $6,000. And uh, we're going to need a little bit more cash than that. Depending on how much we actually bring in on selling some stuff, uh, I may actually spend that money and buy. There is a red beet field that is ready for harvest. And it's one of the three fields I want to merge together to add to our cotton fields. We, of course, make more clothing. And, you know, if I can buy the field while there's a, you know, a harvestable crop in it, and it's the crop that I can use, I probably should buy it and benefit from it. I mean, it's a small field uh, compared to the fields that we do have already here. But you know what? It's uh, I didn't plant it. Uh, actually, I wonder how good of a shape the field's actually in. It's actually this field right here, field number 23. First off, the field does cost, uh, well, 77,000. So that's not, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, it's double fertilized. It doesn't need to be Wait, let me turn on plowing. Uh, it doesn't need to be plowed, or it didn't need to be plowed. Lime is fine. So overall, that field is in is in the best shape that it can be in. So of course, more red beet just means more, you know, stew and canned preservatives of red beets, which we do make and sell. So yeah, I want to buy those three fields, uh, that the red beet field and the one on either side of it, merge those together. And just uh, start trying to get some more cotton. Because as we saw, we the sheep are starting to make some good amount of wool. So we just need to add a little bit more to the cotton field. That's because our spinnery takes cotton and wool, combine those together. And we can get actually more fabric out of it than just making the fabric out of cotton alone and wool alone. And of course, more fabric means, you guessed it, more clothing. All right, so it's only going to take me a couple passes to get this done. And then we're going to jump over into our combine, grab the header, and start chomping on those sunflowers. I think, not this month, but next month, I can start replanting some crops. I think the only crop I'm replanting is some wheat. And that is, of course, to get some wheat for making flour. But mostly, it's just to get some straw for bedding for the cows. And that does remind me as well that I'm trying to get some room for the cars to get past here and then of course now you come out perfect that the cows uh, their manure pit is full and I should bring that over to the BGA but the problem I have is I only have one way to transport it that's for the grain trailer and I need that for the sunflowers and I'm gonna need it uh, let's see I'll have sugar beet left I don't need the grain trailer for that I don't need it for the grapes over here. So yeah, once I get done with the sunflowers, we can take that manure and bring it down to our miniature BGA. It'll take about a month to actually go through that manure. Such a slow processing BGA, but you know what? It'll give us a little bit of extra cash, which is what we need. So every time we do a vegetable and sugar beet and potatoes, those fields need to be plowed, and we are doing a lot of those fields. So every year we're going to have a lot of plowing to do. But luckily we got this big John Deere plow, and of course the lovely Challenger and the Conda version. If you scroll on in, maybe kind of hard to see it, but you can see the fangs on the side. You can kind of see the head there if you look closely, get a better view of it on this side. Glad I bought this Challenger a while ago. 
doesn't seem to struggle like my other tractors were. Although the sunflower field, it does struggle on that one on the steep incline. At that point, I would need something like a, maybe a big bud to keep up to the maximum working speed. Uh, the one thing I got to remember on my equipment, because we are running the realistic damage system, uh, I keep forgetting every once in a while just to make sure that our equipment is not in that bad of a shape. Last fall, which does remind me now, our truck kept stalling because it had a lot of damage. And I can't remember when I last inspected the truck and the last time we repaired it. So that may be overdue to get repaired. Can't really go by the repair symbol on the bottom right hand corner. Because that also reads the implement that we're towing. But now this field is all set to be planted next year. Could be carrots. It could be parsnips. It's going to be one of those two. And boy, it seems like there's a lot of traffic on this side of the hills of Tuscany today. Alright, so the plowing job is done. We'll go ahead and just park this down the hill here. Just make sure it's out of the way for when we start coming over here and harvesting grapes later on this month. Right down here at the corner would be good enough for me. Was a little tricky to get through the forest with the plow. Our little shortcut that we take. But we made it through. All right, so is this my harvester here? It is perfect. Uh, I don't think I can get close enough to get the sunflower header out. The pipe is folded on the combine this time, so maybe, and the roof is higher on this side, so maybe we can sneak under. Uh, of course, if I back up to it, I may not even be able to hitch up to this. Oh, I can, okay. And all I really need to do is just do that. And the only reason why we got the trailer is because I can't put the header underneath the shed unless it's on a trailer. We don't really, we're not going far with it. You know where the sunflower field is. All right, let's go chop up some sunflowers, shall we? Uh, let's unfold the combine. Sugar beet will be ready next month. And actually, we, you know, I, I was going to drive across the field. I said, you know, there's no crop into it, but no, we'll, we'll go around. Sugar beet will be next month. Is that the earliest sugar beet can be harvested? Am I, did I plant it late? Uh, sugar beet. No, October, November. That's when, that's the earliest we can harvest it is October. So, seems later than what I thought it was. I thought I could harvest it in September. But that's alright. That'll be like the first job I do in October. Alright, sunflower header down. Start chopping this stuff up. And once again, if you get just the sunflower header alone, you can harvest the sunflower at nine miles an hour. And I'm just talking base game headers now. If you get the corn slash sunflower header, you'll have to harvest at six miles an hour. So a 50% increase in the speed of harvesting for just doing sunflowers. Decided not to do any corn here on the hills of Tuscany because I'm doing a good amount of corn on American Falls. I could have implemented something with corn on this map. I think a mod came out not long ago for drying corn that a lot of people seem to like. 
There have been different versions of that. Going back to FS19 from what I can remember. Yep, this is all going down to our oil mill. Probably should have got the Lamborghini in the trailer up here. But that's not... It's only just around the corner, so it won't take me too long to grab it. And from what I can remember, we should be able to fit everything into one trailer. It's not that big of a field of sunflowers. And this field will always be sunflowers, and the field to the left will always be potatoes. Because we get a little bit of a bonus from the bees that we're right now passing. I'm glad I'm in an enclosed combine. Probably getting that close to that many bees. The harvester probably disturbs them enough where, I don't know, they might attack all the vibration in the ground from the combine rolling past. I don't think, from what I remember at the end of the last episode, I was looking at prices. And I think I said we had about 50000 I don't think I have enough, or we're going to have enough, to be able to buy that field with the red bean in it to it. Although the, the butter and the cheese should be at a good price, correct? Uh, October, I think, is a peak time for those two, two products. It's September, so if I can get enough, maybe we'll go grab some of that as well. We'll check the stock market page once I get done harvesting these sunflowers. Uh, sunflowers, I don't have to plow afterwards, correct? No, I do not. No plowing necessary. Uh, since we're already here, let's go to stock market. And let's see, where's the butter and cheese? Um, 955,996. That's pretty good. We got about ten thousand dollars worth of cheese. The price is nineteen thirty-seven. Yeah, they're they're pretty much at max. I could get. Uh, so, I mean, there's a uh, thirty thousand dollars in just between butter and cheese. Uh, the raisins, I should be selling those. The price is higher than what it was last year. So, yeah, and of course, then we got the potato chips, some preserved food that we could sell. Uh, maybe we can get enough money. Now, the only issue is, selling all that products is great, buying the land is great. But the one thing it doesn't do is, uh, while in the upper right-hand corner, leave enough money in the bank account for when we sleep through another night, we'll probably wake up in October, you know, with no money. Actually, probably owing money, alongside the $9.6 million that we already owe. But we're going to be buying a field that I want to buy by next season anyways, and it has a crop in it. probably should have got on that right away you know what i should do as well just to make sure uh field number 23 let's see if there's a contract on field number 23 not to do the contract harvest field number 23 except now what that will do is uh since now i'm doing the contract the farmer won't harvest the field <laughs> on me and uh yeah we should be all set I wonder what happens when I have a contract on a field and then I buy the property. Will the contract disappear? And if not, <laughs> let's say I buy field number 23, which I think we're going to be able to, and the contract doesn't disappear and then I harvest my own crop. Of course, I'll have to deliver said crop to wherever they want it delivered to. I'm guessing the contract's going to disappear. But it's an interesting little little test to do. Something I never thought about. Let's see. We're about half full. And the harvest is going pretty darn good.
So probably keeping the fields, what we put into them year after year is what I'm going to be end up doing. So next month I'll be planting wheat in the field across the road behind us. Because that, you know, that seems like it's making enough straw for the cows currently. And everything else we just want to add to little by little. starting to wonder, am I going to get a full trailer of sunflowers? I think I thought the same thing last season and ended up being a little bit short of a full trailer. But you know what? I'm not going to complain if I got to make two trips. That just means more oil for the potato chip factory. Well, it may have been kind of hard to see in the time lapse, but there is 703 liters left in the combine of sunflower. So I'm either just going to ditch it, put it into the silo, or put it into this trailer and bring it on down to be processed into oil. Um, but I got other things I want to do before I even think about what I need to do next. Uh, the combine, I think I am done with for the year, so it's not like I need to empty it out right away. I got time to think about it. I'll, I mean, let's be honest. I'll probably bring it on down because 703 liters is probably like 350 liters of oil. Is it 2 to 1? Might be 2 to 1 ratio. We can check on it in just a moment once I start unloading these and activate the sunflower oil process. load and with this trailer got to open up the back yeah I keep mistaking this trailer for the one on American Falls in the capacity size I keep thinking this holds 43,000 but uh, it's 37 anyways let's go to our production buildings and where are we sunflower oil yes it's two to one let's go ahead and activate that uh, the wheat has been, well, it's it's just about fully processed. We'll call that good. We'll deactivate it. And let's see, anything else I need to be looking at? Currently, everything else is still blue. Uh, I can leave that unless it's distributed for the greenhouses. Not that big of a deal, but everything else is pretty much all set. Uh, let's go ahead and close up the back of the trailer there. 
And I'm gonna leave this down here just, just for now. Like I said, I wanna get to selling the products and seeing if, if I can buy field number 23, which I hope I can because I got that contract sitting there. So let's go ahead and we'll leave this right here. All right, let's jump up to our truck. Uh, what's the status on this? Inspection required in three months. Uh, currently no damage, it says. Uh, all right, so now I got to figure out where all this stuff needs to go. So let's see. Potato chips is going to zero, and that's going to farmer's market. That's going, I mean, they're just going everywhere. They're just going everywhere. Uh, butter and cheese, are those going to the same one? Well, of course they're not. Uh, the restaurant is the one over here, right? Is this the restaurant down here? That is the restaurant. We'll probably bring the butter and the cheese there. And where's everything else mostly going? Let's see. Zero, farmer, farmer, farmer. Restaurant, market stall. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just all over the place. I think we'll just pick one and go with it. I would like to bring everything actually to the restaurant, honestly. Uh, potato chips. Let's see how the price difference is on some of this stuff. Is it great enough to make make a difference? Where is the potato chips? Potato chips. Uh, fourteen sixty six. Market stall is fifteen twenty seven. Uh, zero shop is fifteen forty nine. So, ah, uh, there is a big difference. All right, let's grab the potato chips first. I think I'm going to have to go one at a time here where the stuff needs to go. So let me load up the tater chips. All right, and uh, just to refresh my memory, okay, where where are these going now? Uh, so the zero, zero KM. Uh, anything else going to zero KM? I don't think so. I think it's uh, the potato chips and potato chips alone. And yeah, we don't have any more potato chips currently. All right, so. All right. Let's go sell this. It'd be kind of fun getting into this sell point, but I'm going to sell the products at one station at a time. That way we get our max price that we possibly can. So first stop, zero KM shop. Which is just down here around the corner. And let's face it, you know I'm going to hit the wall. The hedge. It's going to happen. I'm going to swing it wide. Luckily there's nothing in this field. It's not ours though. Every time. Alright, potato chips are sold. Alright, so there's 37. We just, uh, we'll just call it, we need 80,000. That's what we're going to say that we need. I think the field is 77 and change. Oh, now I'm hitting that tree. Let's go in and grab the preserved food material. The problem is I didn't mix and match. Didn't approach that good at all. nice once we get the candy shop back up and running now I do remember I can pick up each individual product with the auto loader is that all red beet showing over there Loaded on up. How much stuff do we got over here? 
We do have some carrots, but it's mostly beetroot. Just gotta wait for it to start spawning once again. There it goes. Wait, is there enough? Why didn't the carrot spawn? Oh, maybe the carrot did spawn? Or is it 2,000 liters per crate? No, I got carrots on there. Well, all right. Where is that stuff going? Um, wait, is this the preserved food? It is the preserved food. Farmer's Market and Farmer's Market. Okay, so they are both going to the Farmer's Market. Uh, the soup needs to go to, well, either the restaurant or the market stall. Which one's the Farmer's Market? It's a market stall. Farmer's Market. Oh, that's down by the grain mill. All right, so let's bring this on down to near the grain mill. We'll sell this and we'll come back and get the other stuff. And I think all that can go to the restaurant. Same as with the butter and the cheese. All right, the sell point is oh, right up front. As we get ever so closer. All right, we're up to 51,000. Now we just got, uh, well, we got a few stops before we go down to the restaurant on the other side of the map. And fingers crossed, I, I mean, we should have enough. I think with the butter and cheese alone, what did I say, like 30000 So, yeah, we're going to have enough to buy the field. And along with the uh, canned soup selling that, we should be higher than the 7000 that we were at before we started selling. In case you didn't see it in the time lapse. <laughs> the AI, AI traffic here is funny. I think some cars are driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh, but in the time lapse when I was driving down with the sunflower oil or seed, we went right past the field that we want to buy. So we want to buy the field that's got the lime in it. Uh, there is a house right in the middle of that field. There's the red beet field I took the contract on that we're going to buy. And eventually I want to buy this lot right here as well. That has no crop into it. And maybe even in the long run buy this other field over here probably get rid of those trees there and I can merge it all together and make one big cotton field I may leave like little islands like that in I don't want to just clear cut everything and, and make it to a field but you know it's kind of hard not to because the more field you have more crops you have yeah just means more product that's all, all right, I need to sneak back into here let's swing wide Traffic just gotta wait a second. And right up to the crates. It's kinda hoping the one in the back did load and it did. So I'm just gonna wait here, grab all this. I'll meet you over at the dairy production. And we can grab all the butter and cheese. Try not to pass <laughs> the dairy production this time. Now, I do remember painting in the road that went through this farmer's field, but he, I guess he wasn't happy about it. So he replanted his crop back in. Am I close enough to grab the stuff that's in? Yes, we are. We are close enough to grab the stuff that will spawn. Uh, while we're waiting for it to respawn, I want to see how much... I mean, do I need to bring milk over 
right away. We still got, yeah, I should be bringing milk over this month. Okay, it took the stuff that was in the spawn area before. Kind of forgot about that with the auto loader. If you go into a different menu, the auto loading stops you working. You got to get out of the truck or vehicle and get back in, and they'll start working again. That might be everything. Yes, no more, no more pallets to be spawned. So now we got to go over to the restaurant. But first, I got to get out of here. Which we've done before. That's why we took down the walls. Alright, now I just gotta find my way to the restaurant. I know I need to go past my vineyard, and I think it's the next right hand turn after that and hopefully I can remember I'm going to try doing it without looking at the map so I may get lost here every time I come this way with this truck I just hope there's no oncoming traffic around this way This time we'll go straight on through. Take the next left hand turn. Once this truck gets moving, it, 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 it cruises on down the road fine. It's getting up to speed, That's that seems to kill me now and then. Trying to maintain a top speed is always nice. So if this goes well, and it should, we'll buy the red beet field, number 23. So we'll have that to harvest. We got the grapes to harvest. And then I got to start transporting some stuff around, like uh, manure to the... BGA, why did you com come to complete stop of this past you then? Uh, where was I? Okay, so manure needs to go to the BGA. Uh, more milk needs to go to the dairy production. And then hopefully our production buildings produce a lot. Because I think when I wake up in the morning of October, we might be in the red. Meaning that we owe money, but we'll see how much we get from all this product right here as the trailer almost tipped over is the cell point right out front or is it on the side oh it's on the side well I need to turn around anyways to get back out of here. Probably not going to get all this in one go. Uh, the front two did not sell. Oh, wow. Okay, we're getting a lot more... I really didn't do any quick math on it, but uh, that is pretty darn good. 110,000. We're going to have plenty of money left over. Well, not plenty of money left over, but good enough for me anyways. Uh, where are we at? So that field right there, farmland, field number 23, buy it, yes. So it's no longer blinking, which means I think the contract, yeah, it did remove the contract. So... Yeah, so, I mean, I, we don't do contracts on this map anyways, but 
once again, I just took the contract so the farmer wouldn't harvest the crop that was in the field. So now we get it. And it was a fun little test to see, well, what happens if you have a contract in the field and you purchase it? Well, the contract disappears completely. So now that my equipment is pretty much everywhere, um, I need to do some cleaning up before next episode. Uh, bring the Challenger back over to the farm. I'll have to plow field number 23, uh, but also I'm going to need to plow the sugar beet field next month when I harvest that and merge it with the old, well I say old canola field, but the canola field that was, I thought I purchased, but I didn't, but then we did. Uh, we need to do that. Uh, I got to take care of the sunflowers that are still in the combine. I will bring those down to the grain mill to be processed in oil, of course. And the harvester, the New Holland harvester and the sunflower header needs to be put away as well. So a little bit of cleaning up session for myself. And then next episode, we'll get to the things I talked about briefly on the way down to the restaurant. But uh, more land purchased and we have enough money to get until next month. And those uh, fields that we're purchasing will all be turned into a cotton field, hopefully by next spring. But that is going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in the hills of Tuscany. But until then, have a good one.